Hello and welcome to Ruzel Live. Today is Monday, December 12th, 2022. My name is Nicholas Giverson with Ruzel Education. We have a great presentation in store for you today. Our final presentation of the year, all the way from the UK, we have Ruzel, European Technical Training Manager, Anne's Ambassador, and Scorum Alumni, a man of many roles and titles, Paul Taylor Clinch. Take it away, Paul. Hi guys, thank you so much, Nick, for that amazing introduction. I don't think I've ever had anything like that, so thank you. Guys, welcome to our last video of 2022. Super fun to do. I'm so glad to be invited back. Uh, it's funny because while we do, I think the opening show of the year as well with the live, so it's great to close it. Uh, today, uh, we're going to go for that classic pompadour look with a fade on the side. Got amazing model with amazing color hair, so it's going to look absolutely amazing. And of course, any questions you guys have, you're going to uh, any questions you guys may have uh, during the presentation, please put it in the comments and Nicholas is here to read them back to me. All right, so without further ado, we're going to start. So, baseline, we're going to start on the squarest point of the head. That's just going to give us a really clear direction because we're going to go completely parallel to our sternum. I'm going to lift up everything that will move. I'm not going to go too short, but you notice my comb is to the ceiling. I know it's one of Nick's ones, and I said that I'd steal it and credit him. So, Nick, I'm stealing it and crediting you. So, thank you for that. So, I'm not pulling out because that's going to create weight, and I'm not going in the hair because that's going to over soften it and make a round shape. So to maintain a nice square shape, you're going to elevate him to the ceiling. And I'm just coming across there, guys. Then moving forward. Now I can move back. You notice that I'm taking a step every time. You see, because then I can say maximum control. But I'm also constantly working towards my sternum. And then we're going to go back and start on this side. Again, guys, let's go to squares point, come to the ceiling, thread across. Moving forward, come to the ceiling, thread across. Taking a step, and you see I'm following that roundness of the head. So it's not like I'm going to a point. What I'm doing is I'm following the curve of the head. I'm following my baseline. And then just double checking. Gravy. Now, as much as I love my bubble list, what I am going to do, guys, is I'm going to check it with my scissors. So just to make sure we've got a nice, smooth, even playing field. So I'm going to pull these hairs down and just double check just to refine any of the loose ones. Because all the work I do, I want it to be as clean as possible. As normal, guys, if you could please let us know in the comments where you're watching from. Super great to see how far and the, the reach that Ruzel has. And if you're new to our videos, then please, like I said, any questions, please let us know in the comments. Like I said, guys, I'm literally, I'm just refining and tidying up these edges. So I'll use the clipper just to get rid of the bulk, especially the hair that I do not need. Also, it'd be great for you guys if you could let us know where you want to see Ruzel next year. Like I know, especially Rob and Lena are back on the road now. They're doing tours again. So let us know in the comments. Absolute study. So I'm chuffed with that. I've got my baseline in. Now let's get rid of all the boring hair. So we say that like loose term, but it's because it's the sides and like the style. Is what gives a head that its name, right? The scumbag boogie, the flat top. Everything name wise of a head that comes from the style. So I'm just going to get rid of the rubbish I don't need on the sides and we'll get back to the cool bit later. So to start with, I'm just going to put a number three on just because for me it's like a good security blanket. And I'm just going to use the butt of the clipper just to get in default. 
get rid of all the hairs that I'm not going to need. And so I've got a nice clean, clean surface to start my fade work. All right, beautiful. Okay, moving on to our fading. Uh, Leo is the number one on the side. So, so come up through, and I'm going to start just around his temple point, just so I can get a nice, smooth, actual fade. Because even with that, guys, can you see, it doesn't leave me with a ton of room. So this year we've even brought out some uh, new products, some new amazing products. Like I know the tat has gone down really, really well, it's especially uh, the one that has the exfoliant. Like super good to get rid of all of the dead skin just on your uh, on the tattoos head, and I can pop a little bit more. Do you guys have any of our uh, new products that you like in particular? If you do, let us know. So I started with that number three. So I'm just going to follow up with that and go number two, just directly underneath that. Then go down to the 1.5 guard, just to, again, remove all of it that I don't need. And then finally, number one, open. Now, and then this is why I like working with the Babylist guys, just because then I just did it there. I don't know if you heard, I could do two clicks, one click and then closed. That way then, I can be constantly in control of my fade work. Yeah, and then it's like, you see how the time it takes, it really does not take time at all. Again, this is my number two, going up just underneath that number three. There again. That was my 1.5 card. Again, just underneath that. And again, back to the one, but this time all the way open. Two clicks or half open on a floating leather clipper. And then closed. Yeah, already starting to take shape. Does not have to be a long process. And again, guys, with this, I'm not ref I'm not really refining it yet because the hair still wet. So I like to sort of get rid of the stuff I know I don't need. And then I'll do my style, and then when I blow dry, that's when I'm actually going to do all of my refining work. So at Rusal, what we like to do is we like to do our baseline, clean up the sides, get rid of the hair we know we don't need, and then put the style into it. So we've got three main uh, section of patterns we're going to be doing for the top area here. So I've just got one more fading bit, and then we can start. Okay, guys? So again, this is my number two. And we're just going straight up through. Well, five five yards from by. Just to soften it a little bit before we get to that one open.
Guys, we can already see how nicely that's coming together, right? Really starting to get ready. And then back to my one open. There's not much to do, it's just mainly a little bit of cleanup. Two clicks. And then close again. Glorious. As Mike did say. So, transitioning, guys. So, we've done our fade, we've done our baseline work. We're going to start working through our sections now. At the top, gone from where the head begins to ground, our crown area. And we're just going to be attaching that to our baseline. So, So guys, what I want to do is retain some of the weight on the corn on the crown here. I don't want to take this too short. So if I follow my sections with a traveling guide, what's going to happen there is I run the risk of taking this crown too short because we need to judge how reactive the client's hair is. Yeah. So and I'm just going to pull those hairs down to our baseline. There's not much to come off. And just following that around just like that again guys like i said uh we want to be retaining some of the weight there so then i'll take another section and you see i'm pulling everything down to that baseline see that a little bit more hair here excellent and we'll do one more on this side and then we'll repeat it on the other and then coming down, not much, but it's definitely there, guys. Yeah. Guys, while we're here, I just want to say, like I said, a huge thank you for everyone for tuning in today. Uh, I know it's a really busy time of year for everyone, especially us barbers and hairstylists out there. I uh, know we're, we're fully booked in here until uh, Christmas Eve now, which is a great, great result. And then the last one, guys, on here. And you see, each time I'm pulling it down to that baseline, then just everything that can reach, there's not going to be much, literally nothing. Perfect. Okay, so we're moving forward with our haircut. Yeah, we've now done our baseline, we've done the fade work, we've done our crown, now we need to start on the corners. So for our ambassadors, they'll know this, uh, but we've also got like our Rizal University coming out, so the videos and stuff online there. And just so you see this section that's left here, look, from the top of the apex there, there's the bottom of my baseline. So then what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to come right to the middle of that one for my corner. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to separate that just so it's not so much all at once. That bends. Now, for us ambassadors out there, you'll see here's that triangle there. So all of our haircuts, we're using those triangles there. Now, attaching it to my baseline. Again, as you see, I'm pulling the hair down. So I want to try and retain the weight there because I can always remove weight later. Later. It sounded like starting the yoga. I thought later. <laughs> if I've just butchered that, please, again, let us know. And I apologize. But I'm just following that down here. Now, in front of the ear, I'm going to start to build some weight. So you see how I'm extending out there? Now my trajectory, if I put my comb there, what I'm doing is I'm cutting out here, yeah? 
I think that's such a great that'll be my scumbassador tip. There we go. I know if you've seen any of our product knowledge, then we typically have scumbassador tips. That's gonna be mine. If you get lost on your angles, just come in and put your comb in. Because whatever direction your comb's going, that is what you're gonna be cutting. Okay, so just following that around. Not too much. So then I can bring this whole top of that corner section back into play. There we go. You see that? Nice and easy. And I'm just hey, following. Paul, I've got a question for you. Yes, sir. So this isn't anything from the comments. It's more so uh, myself asking you. I think everybody's a little bit shy or tired this morning. Do you have any tips or tricks on how to get such a clean parting and sections? Yeah, absolutely. So my tip would be for clean partings and sections. It generally doesn't matter which comb, what kind of comb you're using, but I will make my section with the wider teeth of the comb coming through. Then I'll flip it and I'll use the tighter teeth of the comb. Do you see that? Because then I've got a nice strong tension through. Whereas if I just use this, you see the tension's a little bit uneven through there. So by using the tighter teeth, I then have a nice clean sections. Uh, so yeah, the uh, wider teeth primarily for uh, finding your section, and then the finer teeth for refining it and tension. I hope that helps. Beautiful. Someone even said, thanks for asking. So that's great. And also, uh, I'm going to take that comb trick and I'm going to steal it. That's my aha moment for the day. Uh, there you go. There you go. So now we've stolen stuff off each other, Nick. It's great. And that's what cutting hair should all be about, right? So guys, moving into the front now. So just to recap, we have done our baseline. We have done our fade work. We've done our crown section. We've done our first corner. Now we need to move into the front. So. Moving it forward. And look at that. We're just going to attach that to our surface here. Drag everything that's going to reach. Literally not much, guys. Really, really not. Making our second section. See that? The flip. Then the tension. You see, guys, it just helps me have a nice, even tension. If you notice as well, I'm always only cutting until my second knuckle. Could you call that a knuckle, would you? Call that a knuckle? Yeah. Uh, let us know in the comments, guys. I'm not sure. Do you call this bit a knuckle or not? So I only cut until here. And the reason is simply tension, 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 tension. If I just demonstrate with my comb in front here, if I squeeze as hard as I can, it's actually a lot of effort to push that through. But here, squeeze as hard as I can, ridiculously easy, right? So if I want to maintain an even tension, I'm only going to be cutting to that point there. You notice, guys, that I'm not changing my actual body position. What I'm doing is I'm over-directing all these hairs to come back to me. That way, I'm retaining length. But I'm also making sure I'm going to have an even graduation. Yeah. So if we just flop all that down. See here. Coming down through. That's going to sit back. Absolutely amazing. So, and I enjoyed doing that so much, guys. We're going to do it again. So coming back here. Because remember, this was our flat surface from our crown section. Moving into the corners. Again, flipping my comb there and just to separate it a little bit, just so you see, because I, like I said, guys, I'm not terribly sure how much about Rusal University I can talk about, if any, but this is literally what is going to be on the videos. So 
and it looked really cool. We did a, a retreat, a European ambassador retreat in Holland uh, back in October. And A, I had the best time, but on, but B as well, seeing the amazing videos that were coming out. <sighs> George definitely earned his pennies with that one. And again, on this side, guys, is not much. Coming down through. Make it a nice, even surface. Nick, can you clarify, is Roosel University actually officially available yet, or am I running my mouth too much? That's a question above my pay grade. I'd have to ask Carrie. <laughs> Well, it's Christmas and I've said it. So recently, I believe we're, really we're launching it soon, I believe. There we go. There we go. So it's going to be amazing, guys, honestly. So again, now I'm on that front section, guys. And I'm just keeping my body position still and over directing all of the hairs that will reach back to me. Now, for my precision cutting, I'm just working backwards. So again, making a second section. Coming through again, wide teeth to make the section, little baby teeth for tension. And there's really not much to come off, but that is still the process. If you're working within the process, guys, you're never going to get wrong. Get wrong? Go wrong. Honestly, what's wrong for me today? All right, Paul, just got an update from our favorite redhead. Uh -huh. Talk about Roosel University all you want. Ooh. We'll be launching Ooh. it next year, next month, all the details. There we go. So, guys, you heard that from Nicholas. It's going to be absolutely amazing. We've got a full online platform. We've got it. doesn't just talk about the haircuts, which is the thing I love. Because at Roosel, we're much more than just the haircuts. We've got a product range. The videos are going to be teaching you from beginner apprentice in the UK, from beginner to teacher to educator. So we've got all these different stages of knowledge. That's just going to be absolutely amazing videos. So like Nick said, we'll get more information. It should be out next month. God, what a great way to start the new year, huh? So then guys, I am now just brushing all of it back. I'm going to come all the way up through. There we go. You see, so I'm not going to take much off the length, but we're just going to follow that through. Coming all the way up again, guys. Again, don't forget to drop your comb. All right, Lee, I'm just grabbing the comb, yeah. nothing else. Okay. Okay. Trust me. <laughs> Go and I'm just coming up through, guys, and then attaching it to our crown section. Boom, boom. There we go. Right, blow drying. Now, with blow drying, guys, what we want to do, I'm just refining that fringe just to make sure. There we go. Beautiful. Right, blow drying, guys. What we want to do is we're going to blow dry how we cut it. So. I'm going to blow dry our baseline section first, then our crown, our corners, and then start last. Okay? And of course, if you guys have been watching the videos all year, what do I need for my blow drying? That's right, I'm imagining you're shouting at it in the comments or something, but just in case you're not, here's some Roosel grooming tonic. Brought to you by Roosel. <laughs> So again, guys, you don't have to go nuts with it. Literally, it's a less is more product. If you have so much in it drips on the floor, that's too much. You don't need it, okay? But you want a nice, nice amount in your hands there. And I'm just working it roots to ends just to make sure it's absolutely everywhere, guys, okay? Amazing. 
Okay, flow drying. I'm going to go for low heat but maximum power just so it gives me maximum control. Now, like I said, guys, we're going to be starting from our baseline area. into the back and you see guys i'm trying to let especially with the crown i'm trying to let gravity and the air do the work i'm not folding it up and coming down because if i fold it up you can just see from that it's lifting the hair so i want this area to lay down so i'm literally just letting gravity do the work Moving into our corners. Now I'm starting to introduce a little bit of lift, guys. And then at the front here, there we go. I call this Superman, right? Only because I'm very fortunate with Ruzo. I've been able to go around the world, but I've not heard the name of this. So I call it a supermax. Because what I'm doing is to just achieve some lift, is I'm going to be creating an S at the front there. That way, then it's just going to give it some more lift. Alternatively, what you always can do, guys, is you blow against it, blow against it, and that's also going to give you lift. But it's Christmas and I'm feeling rebellious. So we're really going to go for the Superman technique. All right, guys, if you know anything about my work personally online, You'll see a massive thing of what I look for in haircuts and silhouette. And honestly, look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then we enjoyed that so much, we're going to do it again. So once again, guys, we're going to be starting from our base into our crown, corners, and then the front. Okay. Paul, just checking in with you. Yes, sir. Letting you know that we have viewers from around the world, U.S., Guatemala, I believe Vietnam, Germany, some other European countries, all over the world, tuning in. Oh, that's fantastic. Guys, thank you so much for watching tonight. I know myself and the rest of the original team really appreciate you joining us, especially for our last video. I really can't believe it's our last video, 2022, honestly. Like, all of them have been so amazing. Like, say, videos from the guys in the US. Um, I've heard a couple of them that have been in a different language, but I can still follow exactly what they're talking about because of what they're doing in front of us. And I think that's the beauty of hair, isn't it? The fact that even if you don't understand necessarily what I'm saying, you can see what I'm doing. Yeah? So... I'm just finishing drying the crown. Now we're moving it into our corners, guys.
and then bringing back the Superman to the front there. Okay, so in terms of silhouette, guys, you can see everything is connecting beautifully. I've just got to do a little bit of refining work. And then we'll do a line out. But I'll tell you, while I'm doing some refining work, I want to know <laughs> if 2 plus 2 equals 4. No, I want to know, guys, what product do you reckon I should put in this gun in this hair? And we're going to leave it up to you. So all of our original products are great. But I want to know, and Nick, if you could please tell me what the... Consensus is that would be awesome. So again, I'm just refining as I go, just softening that transition from my base to sides, from my base to the style. And of course, I'm using our Brusel Swollen. And it's tonics. As what do you reckon, buddy? What product would you use? Green for winter. Maybe you want to cocktail it up. That's a good idea. I do love a good cocktail. What are you drinking on the weekend? What's your cocktail? I don't have cocktail. I just dis around her. So nice though. So nice. So guys, I hope you've seen uh, while we've been cutting this demo today how efficiently you can actually target you know those areas that people may find the struggle how do you connect those long layers to short sides without undercutting it how do you do sections in a controlled manner beautiful well i'm really loving the look of this already guys i'm just going to do the line out and then I'm using my blending shears to just take a little bit of the excess weight out remember i pulled everything down to my baseline so because of that i might have excess weight but i'm confident and knowing because of the system that we've done, I'm confident in knowing that all of my sections still go into my baseline area. And then I'm just going to do a little taper, just a little one. Turn it through. Hey guys, I'm listening as well. Dropping it two clicks. There we go. I can hear a little bit of hair coming off. And closed. Fantastic. Then again, guys, I'm going to let that all the way open. Half open. Close. Yeah, so 
last little bit of refining work to do. So I'm going to be going in with my blending shears. Now, the reason ours at Rusal are so unique is because we can do horizontally on our graduation. So if you imagine that everything below my baseline is graduation, everything above that to a degree is over direction. So I could go horizontal with my blending shears on my graduation. Now I can go vertical and I can do slicing work as if it was a regular scissor or shear, wherever you are in the world. And bring all of this across. Then right base let's just remove some of that weight there. And then we can go in again over my other direction. And Lee, can you say that I'm not like yanking all your hairs out? Yeah, no. Well, there we go. Comfortable. There we go. If that's not an advert, I'll give it what it is. So again, moving through my crown section, guys, I'm just sort of refining and softening that transition on my base. Now look, I'm able to slice my hair in a controlled manner, targeting exactly the weight I wish to remove. Again on the opposite side, guys. Just softening. And what we'll do is we'll just check in with Nick in a second, just to see if we have a consensus on the products. Any volunteers, Nick? If not, no problem at all. Hey, Paul. So we actually have a ton of recommendations for products oh um, wow we have a lot of people saying because it is the holiday season they want to see some cocktails of green and white maybe some Ooh. cocktails of green and red uh Ooh. we've got some uncle ronnie fans in the house gray and green let's go mojito uh concrete by itself so we've got plenty of options okay nick You've been working hard all year doing these live videos. Which one would you like? Let's, I'm not going to listen to any of them. Let's, let's do blue and pink. Pink, okay. Cocktails always, cocktails always. All right, all right. I'll let you... you got to showcase that beautiful red hair. Might as well make it shine up a bit. Yes, sir. And you actually doing Lee a favor here because Lee actually uses the blue so and look at that he actually gets a perfect. fresh tin perfect yeah, nothing like a fresh tin of Rusal. that's it if I can open it gracefully which I can I'm gonna lie to you no need literally like a little coyote trying to get in these <laughs> Who was it? Was it you when we were in Rotterdam? Showed me a great way of opening them. And yeah, I'm not going to lie, I've forgotten it. Yeah, I can get the, through those things real fast. Lots of practice. Yeah, there you go. Even that, there we go. Look at that. Fresh. Oh, glorious. So, from Nick's recommendation. Hey guys, I'm putting them in my hands there, and I just want to emulsify the products. The beauty of our Rusal range is the fact you can cocktail them all together. So again, I'm just starting with the back, and then coming through, incorporating the front there.
but you can see that everything is laying down absolutely beautifully. And I want to say just a huge thank you for Nick and the team, uh, for helping everyone and setting up these videos for everyone. So I hope you guys have appreciated them this year. So if you do get a second, please be sure to thank Nicholas in the, the comments underneath there. Just because, you know, he's had to every Monday. <laughs> Every Monday. Okay. Uh, every Monday. Okay, right. Pretty sure it's a nice distribution of products. I have to stay on that side, bud. Just, just stay. No, mm -hmm. stay. Because we're going to be incorporating everything in here. And what I want the guys to see. It's just how nice we can create this silhouette, okay? There we go. So you see that, guys? I'm using gravity to help me style this. All right. Back to this side. Again, I'm using my opposing hand from a comb as like a softener. So I'm left handed, guys. So I'm using my right hand just to glide over where I'm putting the products. Now I'm using my Afro pick because it's a great tool for distributing products. Now guys, I'm loving, loving, loving the shape. But for me, just needs a smidgen more shine. So if only we had a product that you could put on it for a bit more shine. Oh wait, we do. <laughs> Guys, we're actually going to be returning back to our grooming tonic. So and I'm going to be using that as a topper. So as you can see, what we've done is we used our grooming tonic for our blow dry. Great thing about that product is that it has the uh, argan oil in it, which is also a really good heat protector. But also the thing that I love that it does is it can act as a beautiful topper for our finished paper. <laughs> so guys, I'm literally just combing and combing until I'm totally happy with how it's sitting. Beautiful, beautiful, it is right. Beautiful. Maybe you've got a free sing along as well, there, guys. Okay, right, grooming time. Okay, yeah. now it can be a lot more subtle. I have to be frugal with it. So, because I'm literally going to use it just to give a smidgen more shine. In my haircut. So then guys, you're seeing the beauty of our range as well there, because we're not just using a product on these hair. We're actually using three. Obviously, we did the the recommendation from Nick with the pink and the blue. And then I'm just Adding a little bit of grooming time, just want a little bit of something extra as a top it. Okay, and then coming through with my hands, guys. Down a smidgen leaf, perfect.
Is that similar to the Hans? Beautiful. It's looking great, Paul. <laughs> awesome. Beautiful. But guys, dare I say it? I think we're done. Once again, on the beautiful league, we went with Nicholas's recommendation. I personally have never tried that combo before, so I actually got to say I'm a fan. I mean, Kill it if you'd like. Sorry? You can steal it oh. if you'd like. There we go. I, I, I will, buddy. I, I will. Don't you worry about it. And uh, of course, I use the infamous Rooming Tonic as well. So, with our hairpick, guys, as you can see, we have this beautiful faded pompadour. We did a baseline, we did the fade, we did our crown section, we did the corners, and we did the front. Then, lastly, a little bit of refining before our styling. And that has us done of 2022, guys. So, what a fantastic year it's been. I hope you all got. I hope you guys all have an extremely Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and Hanukkah and everything else. But have a great time. Enjoy your time with your loved ones and your family and your friends. And thank you from myself and all of us at Rusal. We hope you have an amazing 2023 and thank you so much for 2022. And that's it for today's Rusal Live presentation. As Paul said, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Thank you for viewing all of the presentations all year long. It's been an absolute pleasure hosting every Monday. Have a safe and happy holiday season. Have a happy and safe new year. We will return in February 2023. So be on the lookout for the flyers and advertisements, and we will see you next year. Thank you.